welcome to part two of my review on the 11th Doctor sets in part one. I should have told you that both the sets were 14.99, but uh, I'll tell you now anyway. And now I'm going to review the 11th Doctor in tweed jacket. But before I do that, I thought I might as well just take you through the packaging. The card is uh, quite good new one. It's got the new logo, Dr. D.W. Tardis. Who? The 11th Doctor Crash set, right in there, and a picture of Matt in the top. And that's just a piece of card, of course. And the packaging, note that that piece of plastic isn't the box, so I threw that a bit away. <laughs> that's just plain starry background with a big sort of circle there where the figures were in you've got a picture of Matt with its sonic screwdriver on the bottom you've got character www.characteronline.co.uk the character logo and BBC and at the top you've got Includes 11th Doctor figure, 11th Doctor figure in cra crash clothing, clothing, I can't speak today, <laughs> and <clears throat> Sonic Screwdriver, and 5 Plus. And on the back, it's got another TARDIS with the BBC underneath. Picture of both figures, 11th Doctor's crash figure set, includes, again, a little information stamps little shiny logo more websites and all the boring stuff that no one ever reads tags and all that and the the little paragraph when the eleventh doctor's tardis crashed into the garden of young amelia pond's house he is still wearing the remains of the tenth doctor's suit ripped and raggedy from the damage after the tardis control room exploded after he departs, Amelia grows up, telling her friends about the, rugged, the raggedy doctor, making dolls and puppets of him. When he returns to her life, after 12 years, he's still wearing the same battered clothes, but shortly before facing down the Atraxi, Atraxi or something, he, face, he selects for himself a new outfit borrowed from various lockers at the local hospital. Tweed jacket, bow tie and boots in place, the 11th doctor is now ready to face the future. And that's that's it really. Now back to the figure itself. And again a brilliant figure. And I I know that the main figure is one with a red bow tie and a red shirt. I went to Toys R Us today and picked up the exclusive blue tan and um, blue shirt, so I'm quite pleased to have an exclusive. I'll take you through articulation. Which is exactly the same as that figure, but <laughs> in case you didn't watch part one. The head. That one can't do a 360 because unlike that one, the collar is raised at the back. Well, hang on. No, it can't. The sh shoulders. Ooh, they're very stiff. Can do a 360. Biceps. That can do a 360. The... Elbow, I can do. A th no, no, I can't. I can go up and down. And the uh, hands. They can do. Actually, no, they can't. I thought they could do a 360. They can't. I don't think they can, anyway. The wrist. Still very stiff. I can do a 360. The legs can move up, and you have the 160, the bicep, articulation at the knee, and no feet articulation. You thought them, I thought they might have added some actually, because the boots are folded under the um, trouser. Sorry, the other way around, the trousers are folded over the boots. But never mind. Now. On to detail. This figure is very highly detailed. 
The sculpt on the head is exactly the same as the Raggedy Doctor. The um, so if you want to know, watch part one. The the tweed jacket is just brilliant. It's really well detailed because the material is actually textured, really textured, little squares. You've got little padding on the elbows like you had on the fourth Doctor figure. I think I forgot to mention, I'm not sure. And uh, it's just really nicely done. The shirt is really nicely striped. You've got little buttons on the tweed jacket again. And lapels and then the bow tie is just slotted in because I saw one actually in the box where the bow tie was just hanging down so I steered away from that one <laughs> and uh, the trousers you've got the little tiny little buckle thing at the top the belt which is black little zip area and then lots of creases and indentations you have a line running down the side and the boots are brown I believe the, the red bow tie one has black boots I don't know because I haven't got that one <laughs> and they've got the laces they're really well done they're just absolutely brilliant really oh yes this figure does come with a accessory, which is his new sonic screwdriver. I revealed the big version. This is the small, the small figure version. <clears throat> actually, for uh, just a small piece of plastic, it is very actually very well sculpted. You can see the green, and you've got these bits sticking up with the green end. See the silver and the black bit where the button is, the leather, the grip handle, and then that bit on the end. Don't think there was a switch there. And there might have been. I don't know, I haven't studied close enough. I was just quite enthralled. And that just fits in there. And with his thumb sticking onto the black bit. Like so. And that's that, really. So that was a brilliant find and a nice figure and they had absolutely loads of them when I went. I mean, there was like seven shelves absolutely full of them. Either they had a really big stock or Doctor has become very unpopular and I don't think the second one's a very likely option. But anyone, anyone, <laughs> anyway, I still can't talk. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in my next review, which could be anything, really. It could be the fifth, uh, fifth Doctor, or my custom Dalek Khan, or my other custom Dalek, or it could be the Razlon figure, which I picked up today. I don't know. I'll see you all in my next review, then.